Hello everybody. In this session, I'm going to talk about a very rarely asked type of question in entrance examinations and that is cubes and cuboids. So this section is basically in reasoning and uh, it tests the student's ability to visualize things in three dimension. So let's try and understand the basics of cubes and cuboids, the types of questions which can be asked and how do we go about solving them. So a cube, as we all know, is a three dimensional figure, right? It has length, breadth and height. As you can see, I've drawn a three dimensional cube here in two dimension, right? So I can say it has length, it has breadth and it has height. These are the three dimensions that it has. So to represent it in two dimension, we can generally represent it something like this. So let us understand certain terminology. Now, these are known as the edges of a cube. So we have one, two, three, four. Similarly, four at the bottom and these four at the sides. So the total of 12 edges in any standard cube or cuboid. Now, this entire thing, this surface is known as the face of a cube or a cuboid. So there are a total of six faces that any standard cube or cuboid will have. The top, the bottom, the two sides, the back and the front, right? And the point where any three of the faces meet, any three of the faces meet. So we have one, two, three, all three faces meeting at this point. This point is known as the vertex. This point is known as the vertex, plural vertices. So as you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are a total of eight vertices that can be had in a cube or a cube board. So remember these points, right? These lines are the edges, 12 of them. This entire surface is a face, six of them. And the point where three of these points meet is an vertice and there are eight of them. Now, if I take a standard cube and I cut it into two halves, what happens? Let's see. So this, I have a painted cube, which has all eight vertices on the same block, right? So we can see seven of them and there is one hidden here at the back. Now, if I cut it into two parts, as you can see, I split them. You will see that in each of the new created blocks, there will be four vertices which are original and there will be four vertices which are newly created. Similarly, in the other point, there are four of the original vertices, one hidden here at the back, and there are four vertices which are newly created. So, when out of eight, four of them go to each individual block, what happens to the color? Originally, all the six faces were colored. Here, one, two, three, four, and five of them are colored. But the one exposed surface from between, the one exposed surface from between is uncolored. So when four of the original vertices are together, it means five painted and one unpainted face will exist. Now, I again cut this block, right? It was already cut and again I place a cut and cut it like this. So now, as you can see, each block has two of the original vertices. Only these vertices are considered to be from the original piece and all the other vertices are newly created. And what happens to the number of painted faces? One, two, three, and if you can imagine, there's a fourth one at the bottom. So when two of the original vertices are there, that means there will be four painted and two unpainted blocks in each one of them. Now, again, I cut this block, right? Already four pieces and now I cut them like this. So they get split into eight and each block has only one of the original vertices. Every other vertice is newly created. So for this block, only three faces are painted and all the other are unpainted. So when one original vertice is on any block, it will have three painted and three unpainted faces. So remember this number of original vertices before cutting and the number of original vertices on the block after it cuts can help you identify how many faces are there. You may go back to the video and look at this concept once again for clarity. Sure. Now, 
let us say that there is a 2 by 2 by 2 cube which means the length the height as you can see is 2 units width 2 units length 2 units right so in here if I cut it into cube of 1 by 1 by 1 then how many of these will have three sides painted two one and no side painted the first thing you should understand is totally how many small blocks are formed for that we take two 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 the original size and the size of each smaller block that is eight divided by one so we have total of eight blocks formed now as you have seen before the original vertice wala blocks will be the ones with three sides painted as there are eight original vertices there will be eight blocks which have three sides painted right so for three sides painted eight and we have calculated total there can be only eight blocks that means all the blocks are accounted for so there is no other block of any kind so in a two by two by two cube cut into one by one pieces all the eight blocks will have three sides painted okay moving on to the next one now supposing it is a three 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 cube in this cube we have to understand the total number of pieces formed when it is split into sizes of one by one by one so for imagination i am separating the three layers now if you can see carefully each one of these has a total of nine blocks yes you can count them so nine plus nine plus nine we will have a total of 27 blocks similarly three threes are nine nine threes are 27 divided by one into one into one is one that also means 27 blocks so in this case how many three two one and zero sides painted now here is where you have to pay attention we have the original eight vertices on individual blocks so obviously the total number of blocks with three sides painted is eight now the total number of blocks overall is three threes are nine threes are 27 divided by one ones are one ones are one so i have to make sure that it adds up to 27 now here remember for two sides painted we will do two things one we will consider the top and the bottom layer remember in the previous one i had split them so this is the top layer now on the top layer you eliminate those blocks which are on the vertice because they have already been counted so other than that whoever is on the edge will have two sides painted so one two three and four so there are four blocks here which we have counted which are on the edge not on the corner and having two sides painted so whatever is true for the top layer is true for the bottom layer so the top will have four the bottom will have four and in the other remaining middle layer the ones which are on the edges will have two sides painted so one two three and fourth hidden there are four corners four edges so middle layer also has four so four plus four plus four a total of 12 with two sides painted for one side painted on every face we will look at the pieces which are in the center so look at this particular face here all these things are on the edge and having more than one so this is the only piece which has one side painted so on every face you can find one such piece right so six faces one piece each a total of six with one sides painted for zero sides painted there is a simple formula that you can use that if the original size of the cube is a into a into a then a minus 2 into a minus 2 into a minus 2 gives you the number of pieces with zero sides painted right and if the number turns out to be negative that means zero so here 3 into 3 into 3 you subtract 2 from each so you get 1 into 1 into 1 that is 1 so total of one block with zero sides painted let's add 8 plus 2 8 plus 12 is 20 plus 6 is 26 plus 1 is 27 so we have correctly analyzed how many of these pieces have how many sides painted i would strongly advise you to rewind the video to the beginning of this particular example and take a look at it once again sure. let's take the application of the same funda to calculate for a 4 by 4 by 4 cube so 4 4 is 16 4 is 64 total 64 blocks for three sides painted vertices 1 2 3 and 4 5 6 7 and 8 so three sides painted obviously 8 two sides painted for this we will do tops so in the top layer everyone on the edge 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 so 8 in the top layer similarly 8 in the bottom layer because they are symmetrical and for all the middle layers 1 
टू थ्री एंड फोर सो ईच मिडल लेयर विल है फोर सो एट प्लस फोर ट्वेल्व प्लस फोर सिक्सटीन प्लस एट ट्वेंटी फोर टू साइड्स पेंटेड ट्वेंटी फोर सो वी कैलकुलेट फॉर टॉप एंड रिपीट दैट नंबर एट द बॉटम एंड ईच मिडल लेयर विल बाय डिफॉल्ट हैव फोर फॉर वन साइड पेंटेड लेट्स टेक लुक एट ऑल दोज पीसेस इन द मिडल एंड नॉट ऑन द एज सो वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन एलेवन ट्वेल्व For each phase that you can see, there is a corresponding hidden phase. So if there are four at the front, four at the back. If there are four at the top, four at the bottom. And if you can see four here in the middle, then there are four on the opposite side as well. So you have a total of twenty-four. For zero sides painted, we use our formula: four minus two into four minus two into four minus two. That is two to the four to the eight. So twenty-four plus eight is equal to thirty-two. Thirty-two plus twenty-four. 32 plus 24 is equal to 56, and 56 plus 8 is 64. So our calculation is proper. Let me take one more example. A 7 by 7 7 cube. So total 7 7s are 49 7s are total of 343. 3 Three sides painted. Default is 8. Zero sides painted. 7 minus 2. 7 minus 2. 7 minus 2. So 5 5s are 25. 5s are 125. Then on the edge. So for two sides painted, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So twenty on the top, twenty on the bottom, and four in each of the five middle layers. So total of sixty, right? And one side painted one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five so twenty five into six a total of one fifty add up all these numbers and you will get three forty three as the answer right okay chal now let us see supposing now instead of cubes we are given cuboids right the dimension of the cuboid is three four one So how do we draw that? Pay attention. Let's take the first two numbers, three and four. We convert, we draw like this, right? We divide this into three. We divide this into four, and we complete the parallelogram. So we split this into three, and we split this into a total of four. Now the remaining dimension is five. So we make the vertical height of five. One, two, three, four, and five, and we complete each face like this. so from every point parallel to the top and bottom we draw these lines and from these points parallel to the sides we again draw the lines right similarly to complete this face we draw parallel here and parallel here so from the top line we consider the parallel lines and from these points again we draw the vertical lines so this is 3 this is 4 and this is 5 so let's see in this three sides painted so we always go with the vertices and uh, each a of the eight original vertices is on a separate piece so total eight pieces with three sides painted for two sides painted everything on the edge but not vertex so 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 6 on the top 6 on the bottom and every other one 4 right So total six plus four plus four plus four plus six is twenty-four. Now one side painted, you'll have to be careful in calculating for a cuboid. You can't calculate on one face and multiply by six. You have to count. So one, two, three, four, five, six on this face, seven, eight, and nine, ten, and eleven. That gives me a total of eleven, which gives me twenty-two for zero sides painted. So again, let me reiterate that for one side painted, you have to carefully count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. All these faces which are not on the edge, and for every one which we can see, there is one on the opposite side. So we counted eleven, so total twenty-two. For zero sides painted, our good old formula: three minus one, three minus two into four minus two into five minus two. So that is one into two into three. That is a total of six. Now, if you want to count the total blocks, three fours are twelve, fives are sixty divided by one into one into one is sixty divided by one. That is sixty, 
add up these numbers and you will get the answer as 60. So the same technique works for both cubes and cuboids. Let me give you one more example of a cuboid of let us say dimensions 2, 3 and 6. So here if this is how we draw it, either I can draw it vertically like this or laying down like this. Remember here this is 2, this is 3 and vertically 6. Here this is 2, this is 3 and this is 6. Right? The answers will be the same. So pause this video and count and tell me the number of blocks and then resume the video and say whether your answer is right. Okay, so total number of blocks, 2, 3 are 6, 6 are 36. Three sides painted, the vertices, total 8. Two sides painted, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. 8 on the top, 8 on the bottom, 4 in the middle. So 8 plus 4, 12 plus 8, total 20. For total of one side painted, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, but the other two surfaces don't have any middles. So total 4 plus 4, 8. And no side painted, 2 minus 2 is 0 into any number, the answer is 0. Add up all these numbers and we get 36. So here again a 2, 3, 6 cuboid is split into small cubes of 1, 1, 1 in this particular manner. So this is the basic theory for cubes and cuboids. I hope now you can solve the examples and quickly understand how to do them. Wish you all the best and have a good day. IQ Ideas, the most preferred destination in Gujarat for post 12th entrance examinations like various law entrance examinations for business management, liberal studies and hotel management. For details, visit www.iqideas.in or call us at 99798 46008.